This is in response to Dr. Paul Krugman's article in the New York Times on uh, Monday, March 23rd, 2015. This schnookered aisle. <laughs> I remember when I was in England, we used to play schnookers because we didn't have anything like that in the United States. A much larger pool table than we have in the United States. So, a little play on words there, schnookered, uh, this schnookered aisle, because Dr. Krugman is talking about uh, Lund, uh, Great Britain, uh, England, uh, they're having an election coming up, I believe for Prime Minister, uh, in the, the next six weeks, uh, and again, what is going on over there is they're getting schnookered into this idea, is that uh, these budget deficits have to be taken care of, or our grandchildren are gonna have to pay for them for as far as the eye can see. Now, uh, as Dr. Krugman points out, not only there, but in America, this has been what is, he refers to as a bogus narrative about these deficits. Uh, they are real, they should be taken care of, but we've done, we have had much larger deficits in the past. One would be, example would be World War II, and we were able to work our way out of it. And we can easily work our way out of the deficits that we have right now. The best way to do it right now is to uh, uh, stimulate the economy by investing in the economy. Uh, it's been mentioned many times, roads, bridges, tunnels, infrastructure, uh, things like that, education, uh, where we get a good bang for our buck, and also interest rates are at their lowest rates ever. Now, Dr. Krug was pointed out that he thinks that we're a little bit over this fetish criticism with uh, uh, austerity measures and budget deficits, but I do not think that we are. We are going to, that's going to be rammed in all over again in the um, 2016 election, because even though there has been tremendous drop growth in the United States, even though interest rates are low, even though inflation has not reared its ugly head, they will be screaming and yelling that and taking up all of the media sound bites for that. You know, they'll just be screaming and yelling all over the place. As it's referred to in England, and I, I think Dr. Krugman said it was referred to as uh, macro media. You know, this, this, this uh, uh, unlimited amount of a bogus uh, speech about how terrible the deficits are, and they have to be taken care of, they have to be taken care of now. And then the best way to take care of them is to increase the defense <laughs> and decrease Things like Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare, investment in education, investment in infrastructure, etc. Uh, again, uh, uh, these types of cuts hurt the poor, and that's really what the end game is of the uh, conservatives and of the Republicans. It's really not to deal with the deficits. Uh, they only they only want to use that as that false narrative to go after the deficit, go after the deficits. And you know, we've, su we've suffered from the austerity. England has suffered from the austerity. All of Europe has suffered from the austerity. And right now, and most of the article that Dr. Krugman was, put in, in his article, he was basically indicating that the things England is suffering from, that we are suffering from, you know, we don't really need to be suffering from that. We have low inflation. We have low interest rates. We have the ability to borrow money at very, very low rates. So does England, so does Spain, so does Italy, so does Ireland. These are people that were hurt by the, by, by, by the uh, Great Recession. Um, France does, etc. They all have that opportunity. And, you know, here's the thing about it is, you know, GDP, and, and, and they blame, you know, this is what the austerity people are saying. Well, well you know, it, it really goes back to the previous administration in 2007. And Dr. Krugman aptly points out that at that particular point in time, the, the ratio of debt to GDP was well within a working range. It was very low compared to even now. And that uh, this, it, it was even lower than what it's been in Japan, which has also suffered from, uh, uh, from stagflation, so to speak. So the concept of this whole thing, England has an election coming up. They're screaming austerity, austerity. We can't do it. Interest rates are low. Inflation is low. Uh, and it's the best time to borrow to, to invest in, in, in England, to invest in America, and we're not doing it. And why are we not doing it? It's because we have all these people who, who 
this is like the narrative. I'm going to talk tough about the deficit. So you're going to believe that I'm a wise and serious person, that I really care about these things. I love Paul, Paul Ryan. Uh, who was that guy uh, that put out the budget in, in the house? Uh, was it Price in, uh, from uh, Georgia? I don't know. You know, and it's all bogus stuff. You know, so if you talk tough about the deficits, then you're a wise and serious person. You know, this Bull Simpson type thing where we just cut and cut and cut, and all of a sudden, magically, uh, money will start cropping up into the uh, in, in, into the marketplace, and it's never worked. It's never worked, ever, uh, and uh, it will continue not to work. And again, when you have uh, our friends. Our sisters and brothers on the Republican, on the conservative, on the libertarian side, screaming and yelling about deficits, 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 need for austerity, cut Social Security, cut Medicaid, cut Medicare, um, but increase defense spending. <laughs> uh, you know that drowns out the narrative of what's really going on. We have we have more than adequate room to work with the deficits that we have. We can grow our way out of it. Interest rates have not grounded their ugly head. Uh, inflation is very, 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 very low. This is the time to borrow. This is the time to invest in America. And again, this needs to be the narrative, not this deficit bullcrap.